currently chair of the... I was concerned about lack of African people and African Americans in particular engaged in the talking around immigration. So I carried on some conversations with other African American clergy and Africans, immigrants, and we formed then the Black Alliance for Just Immigration for the purpose of carrying on conversations in the African American community and with African immigrants around the issues of immigration. And, and they were very, those conversations were uh, revelatory for me. I'll never be the same. One of the things I did, and I suggested to you, I went on Google, typed up slavery, Mexico, and my Lord discovered that Mexico was a friend of the slaves to the And this is important. This is very important. Philip and I are, are the sons of immigrants. We're the sons of immigrants. Our great grandfather escaped from slavery in um, the South, someplace in the United States. We've never been there. He said Maryland. We're not sure. We haven't. <laughs> we don't know about this, but, but he said uh, from a plantation in Hagestown, which is what his father had told him, went into Canada. Now, the Underground Railroad, you know, is the first sanctuary movement in the United States, protecting slaves who were escaping to freedom. What Phil has discovered is something that generally in the black community we're not aware of. So the, so the end. If it's true that thousands of slaves went north, north yeah. to Canada, imagine the numbers who walked across yeah. the, the Oklahoma border into Texas, which was Mexico, yeah. and how Mexico welcomed them, gave them jobs, helped them to save a, a place of safety, would not allow the United States Army to come in there after them. So that relationship between Mexico and African Americans is not known. I doubt many Mexican people know that relationship. One of the reasons for the Mexican American War in which Texas and Arizona, New, New Mexico, were taken away from Mexico, half of the land of Mexico, of the land mass of Mexico in 1845, was taken away. Was precisely over the issue of slavery. So, so, so the, uh, it, it's been eye-opening for me yeah. to understand that my sisters and brothers from Mexico of what we've been doing over our years, the engagement in a variety of movements is that we, uh, 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 issues of justice is you keep meeting family members you never met before. Yeah. <laughs> That's the source of hope and power and joy and excitement about what we're all about. Yes. Is discovering people we never met before and our relationship to one another. Uh, uh, in, in, in our learnings, we're talking with African immigrants. In the Bay Area. In the Bay Area. Understanding why they do not want to be identified with black Americans because they come to this country with the white Americans' images of blacks. The same as many of you who have come here from other places in Asia or Mexico. Where did you get your perspective or point of view about black people? You got them from the media. And, and those medias were caricatures or stereotypes and so when you come here, your images of black Americans are those that are white racists. Mm -hmm. And the black community, for example, has a feeling mm -hmm. that immigrants, when they come, have a desire to become white. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And not identify with the struggle of being black. Mm -hmm. Not identify with the struggle of Mexico people, yeah. and Latin American people, and African Asians. people, and Asian Amen. people. But they want to be right racist. Yes. Those are their images. Those are the yeah. things that they that they strive for. Mm -hmm. 
And I so, have, yeah. so we have work to do. You have work to we do have work in your community. Exactly. To, to, to all learn. Yes. You see, bad education is worse than no education. <laughs> yes. Because you have to all learn bad education. Yes. And then get some new stuff in there. Yeah. <laughs> so we have, all of us should be on the program of, 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 of breaking down and deconstructing the attitudes and positions and understandings that we have, even those in the church. So it came from white racist, white superiority theology and, and sociology and psychology. Mm. We have to unlearn that, friends. And that's what this struggle is about. The language of oppression, the yes. language of sexism, the language of violence, the language of, for example, narrow nationalism as we yes. are exposed to it in the United States. The language that says